Namo Buddhaya, meritorious devotees. Today we are going to practice a special meditation, that is meditation on six sense faculties. Understanding the six sense faculties, the internal six sense faculties and the external sense faculties. The impermanence nature of the sense faculties, internal and external, both. So, the reason we are doing this meditation, the meditation on the six sense faculties is because we are mixing with the world, we are dealing with the world. Our, our life is mixing with the other world and we react by seeing things, we react by hearing things, we react by smelling things, we react by tasting, we react when we feel things, we react when we think. So these reactions can be good reactions as well as bad reactions. If we react in a good way, it's good. So uh, sometimes when we see things, we react with anger. Sometimes we react with lust. Sometimes we react with delusion. We feel sad. So to react in a proper way, we should know the true nature of the six sense faculties. The internal and external both. So when you understand the impermanence nature of the eye, ear, nose, tongue, body and mind, you will not get attached to the internal sense faculties. When you understand the true nature of the external sense faculties, the six external sense faculties, the form, sounds, smell, taste, tangibles, the feelings that you feel from the body and the thoughts, you will not get attached to the external sense faculties as well. So remember, we start thinking after seeing something from our eyes. We start thinking after hearing something from our ears. Then only either anger or happiness or whatever arises. So when we see things from the eyes, we should know from what kind of eye we are seeing things. And we should know what we are seeing as well, the nature of what we see from our eyes. If not, if we do not understand the true nature of the eye and the forms, the true nature of the ears and the sounds, what will happen? Just imagine. When we see pleasant things from the eyes, we will get attached. We will need them. And when the beautiful things that we saw from the eyes changes to worst, we will suffer. We will cry. We, we will not be able to bear. And if we see something unpleasant from our eyes, maybe an unpleasant person that you don't like at all, then what happens? You get opposed. You get angry. Then if you see something that you would not like to see at all, if you see someone hurting your relative, if you see someone hurting your friend, how would you feel? Sad and angry. If you see someone stealing your belongings, now after we got our eyes, how much we decorate our eyes, we get to see these kind of things. So if we see such things, we should be able to find solutions for the problems that we experience in life without getting angry, without harming others and without harming ourselves. Can we do that? We can do it. How can we do it? By seeing things as really they are. So when you understand the true nature of the I and the other sense faculties, the internal sense faculties and the external sense faculties, you will see things, but you don't get attached, you don't get opposed or neither get deceived. Now sometimes, now see, when you see, when you go to funerals, if you see, if any of your friends or if any of your relatives, if any of your close persons die, you will feel sad, you will look at a dead body and cry. Actually that person has died and gone to a different world. But still we are looking at the dead body and die. If all of a sudden, if the dead body wake up, will we keep on crying? No, we will run away. So what's, why is that? Why do we look at dead bodies and cry after people pass away? That is because of delusion. Therefore, dear Dharma friends, when you see things, when you hear things, when you smell things, and when you experience this world through these sense faculties, without knowing the true nature of the six sense faculties and the true nature of the external sense faculties and the true nature of how things work in the world, without the knowledge of the Buddha's teachings, 
lust, anger and delusion will arise. So do you want to live with lust, anger and delusion? No. Then we should practice a wonderful meditation that is practicing the impermanence nature of the six sense faculties. So let's practice the meditation on impermanence of six sense faculties and live a peaceful life. This meditation can be practiced throughout the day when you are seeing things, hearing things. And you can practice this at home, at any time, and be prepared to see things, and be prepared to hear things. And you can be detached while hearing things. You can be detached while seeing things. You can be detached by hearing things. You can be detached by smelling things. You can smell beautiful things, but without needing them, without crying for them, without worrying without having them, you can live happily. You may see delicious food, but even if you can't afford to buy, you can, without worrying, without being concerned, you can live happily. You might see people how they experience happiness through their bodies by getting various ways to make their body feel comfortable, but even though those things are evil, you can live happily without expecting such happiness for your body. So, if you like to live a such a peaceful life, like the great Arahans lived, may you have the opportunity to practice this meditation peacefully, focus to the meditation, and live a life free of suffering. So, let's follow the meditation verses now. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu Listen to me and think according to what I say. Since the eye arises due to causes, changes instantly. And ceases with the cessation of those causes. The I is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. The I is not me, not mine, not myself. The form seen with the I arise due to causes. Change instantly and cease with the cessation of those causes. The form seen with the eye are impermanent. Impermanent, impermanent. The form seen with the eye are not me, not mine. Not myself. Not me, not mine, not myself means whatever the forms that you see from your eyes cannot be controlled, cannot be maintained as we wish, will not remain the way we want, will not last. So when we understand this true nature, we will have the ability to be detached to what you see and finally to eradicate lust, anger and delusion forever. 
Since I consciousness arises due to causes, changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes. I consciousness is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. I consciousness is not me, not mine. Not myself. With the help of consciousness, I will have the ability to see things, to cognize things. So when you cognize, then what happens? The I and forms consciousness these three things, with the union of these three things, contact will take place. Then we feel, then after feeling things, we need them. Craving arises. So at the beginning stage, when you see things from your eye, if you understand that you are seeing things from an impermanent eye, an eye that is not under your control, We are trying to satisfy an eye that will not last forever. You are trying to satisfy an eye that will never get satisfied. So you are trying to satisfy your eye by seeing things that are impermanent. So how can ever our eyes get satisfied? Why we are seeing things that are not under our control and will not last forever. And when things change, we suffer. But if we can understand that our eye is impermanent and the things that we see are also impermanent, then even if we cognize those things, we will cognize them with the knowledge of the impermanence nature. Then when contact takes place, when we feel things, because of contact, craving will not arise. So we should practice this meditation to be aware and to have a prior understanding how the six sense faculties work. Now keep on thinking according to what I say. Since the union of the eye forms an eye consciousness. Eye contact arises due to causes, changes instantly, and ceases with the cessation of those causes. Eye contact is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Eye contact is not me, not mine, not myself. Not mine, not myself, means you can't keep it under your control. Not me, that means it does not belong to us. So Buddha is helping us. Buddha wanted us to think in a way that the things are really as they are. 
so that will help us to be detached to the world once you are detached how can suffering arise since feeling born of i contact arises due to causes changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes feeling born of i contact is impermanent 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 feeling born of i contact is not me not mine not myself since craving for forms born of feelings arises due to causes the cause is from what you see the cause is the things are made out of four great elements then the cause is the union of the i forms and i consciousness so all these things are causes and when the causes changes when the forms changes what happens whatever we feel the craving also changes and ceases with the cessation of those causes so once all those causes are abandoned craving is also abandoned since craving for forms born of feelings arises due to causes changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes craving for forms is impermanent 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 craving for forms is not me not mine not myself now let's think about the ear how craving arises in the ear the process since the ear arises due to causes changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes the ear is impermanent 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 the ear is not me not mine not myself 
since the sounds heard with the ear arise due to causes change instantly and cease with the cessation of those causes the sounds heard with the ear i am permanent impermanent impermanent the sounds heard with the ear are not me not mine not myself since ear consciousness arises due to causes changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes ear consciousness is impermanent 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 ear consciousness is not me not mine not myself since the union of the ear sounds and ear consciousness ear contact arises due to causes changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes ear contact is impermanent 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 ear contact is not me not mine not myself since feeling born of ear contact arises due to causes changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes feeling born of ear contact is impermanent 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 feeling born of ear contact is not me feeling born of ear contact is not me not mine 
not myself. Scenes craving for sounds, born of feelings, arises due to causes. Changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes. Craving for sounds is impermanent, impermanent. Impermanent Craving for sounds is not me Not mine Not myself Since the nose arises due to causes, changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes. The nose is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. The nose is not me, not mine. Not myself. Since the order smelled with the nose, arise due to causes, change instantly. and cease with the cessation of those causes. The odors melt with the nose are impermanent, impermanent. Impermanent The odors melt with the nose Are not me Not mine Not myself Since nose consciousness arises due to causes, changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes. Nose consciousness is impermanent, impermanent, impermanent. Nose consciousness is not me. Not mine, not myself. 
since the union of the nose, others and nose consciousness. Nose contact arises due to causes. Changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes. Nose contact is impermanent. 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 Nose contact is not me. Not mine. Not myself. Since feeling born of nose contact arises due to causes, changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes. Feeling born of nose contact is impermanent. 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 Feeling born of nose contact is not me, not mine, not myself. Since craving for orders, Born of feelings arises due to causes, changes instantly and ceases with the cessation of those causes. Craving for orders is impermanent. 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 Craving for orders is not me. Not mine. Not myself.